Okay, I wanted to show you something no one's seen before. Do you think that uh, I can demonstrate the uh, appearance of magnetism using a very powerful magnet and a simple flashlight? Yes, we can. We only have to fulfill a couple criteria. We have to have a strong enough Gaussian um, coherent source, i.e. a powerful neodymium magnet, and we have to have a very high intensity light source, but at a distance so there's enough light fall off to see it. And what you'll see, you'll see a uh, Corollis effect on the centrifugal divergent edge of the magnet. Now these up here at the top and on the side are of course the reflections of the magnet, but what we're actually seeing, and you could actually take a regular cardboard box or some sort of, you know, spaghetti box and you'll not see this just using a regular box. So, yes, these are certainly reflections here at the top and the bottom, but what we actually see here on the corner, let me see if I can demonstrate it for you. There we go. What we see here on the corner is a Coriolis effect of the centrifugal divergent edge, which is where the highest Gaussian flux occurs, where it is actually slingshotting the light, the high-intensity LED light, off the centrifugal edge. You can actually measure that. It's empirical with a Gauss meter. Yeah, on the top and on the side, those are certainly reflections, obviously. But these uh, loop, these uh, hula loops at the corner, is actually the magnetism causing the, uh, you know, the slingshotting of the light. And you will not get this effect using a box you know, or a rectangle of some, you know, plastic or cardboard or anything else, regardless of its reflectivity. But, uh, so this is the first time anybody's ever seen this. You have to have a, a powerful magnet, B, powerful light source, and this one's a really powerful light source, but it has to be far enough away so you don't actually overpower the visualization of the light being scattered off of the edge. There we go. So, you've seen it here first. It's not very exciting. Well, to some people it is. I remember that, uh, you know, a flashlight or anything else doesn't actually emit light. It is a field perturbation. And it's ridiculous to think that a light bulb, for example, is actually emitting light. It's a field perturbation. A light bulb is a vacuum sealed glass tube. It's a field perturbation. A field? Oh. Would that be um, electromagnetic waves? Well, yes and no. Light is neither a particle nor a wave. It is a coaxial circuit. Longitudinal dielectric compressions and refections, and transverse and electrical and magnetic divergences. Whether that's linear polarization or circular polarization doesn't matter. Light is not emitted from anything. It's a field perturbation. Poor humanity. We're so advanced, and yet we're so stupid. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.